Today's daily dose of math is about finding the linear equation of the regression line from a table of values that goes with a scatter plot using the Meyer line method. The Meyer line method is an easy method for most students in my secondary four statistics courses because those students have been finding straight line equations many times in the previous math books they've done. But when they learn the Meyer line method, they have to handle the data in the table of values correctly. There are a couple of little tricks to doing this. If a student did not manage to notice these tricks while reading their book, what will happen is when they do Meyer line questions in their pretests, they will get incorrect equations. And we have to figure out why this is happening. The first trick that you have to know is that the x values in your table of values at the beginning of the process have to be in increasing order. My red example here has x values that are already in increasing order. This is very convenient. The student can go directly to the next step in the process. But a student who doesn't know that the x values have to be in increasing order is just getting lucky if they manage to get through the process and get the equation correct. In the blue example, the x values are not in increasing order. This is where the student would be unlucky. Because if you keep the points in this order in the table of values and try to do the Meyer line method, you will get incorrect averages for your x and y values and you will have an incorrect equation. So what you have to do is you have to reorder all of the points in the table of values with the x values increasing and you keep the y values with their x values. You keep the points intact. It is crucial that you are careful to pay attention to this step when doing the Meyer line method. With my red example, the data is already arranged in increasing order of x values. So the trick is I have to divide the table into two smaller tables of the same size. And all I have to do is take the first half of the points and put them in the first smaller table and the second half of the points and put them in the second smaller table. But this was easy because there were 12 points in this table, an even number. So dividing it into two smaller tables of the same size is straightforward. With the blue example, there are 13 points. When we split the data into two smaller tables, it is not possible to split them into two tables of the exact same size. So one of the tables has to have one more point than the other. The next thing that we have to do is find the mean of the x's and the mean of the y's in each of our two smaller tables. Looking at the red example, my calculations look like this. I'm adding all of the x values from the first table together and dividing by 6 because there were 6 of them. The mean, the average, is 12.5. I do the same thing with the y coordinates and with the x coordinates and the y coordinates from the second table. I am creating values called x bar 1, y bar 1, x bar 2, and y bar 2. Then I arrange those four values into two new points x bar 1 and y bar 1 become the x and y coordinates of my first point. x bar 2 and y bar 2 become the x and y coordinates of the second point. In the blue example, I'm going to do the same things. I find x bar 1, y bar 1, x bar 2 and y bar 2, and I arrange them into two new points. I need these points to find the equation of the regression line. And now here, I have removed some of my calculations in order to make room, but I kept my x bars and y bars and my two points that I created for both examples. In the red example, the next thing is to do the slope formula. I use the two points in the slope formula to find a slope A of 0 0.01. Then I plug that slope 0 0.01 into the y equals ax plus b form for a straight line equation. And I plug in one of the two points. This time I've used the point on the right side of my slope formula, but it doesn't matter which point I use. I'm able to solve for b. Once I know the a and the b, I can arrange them into the y equals ax plus b form, and I have the equation of my regression line. 
The blue example has the same steps. The slope A is found by putting the x and y coordinates of the two points we created in the slope formula and this time is equal to 1.14. We plug that and one of the points, this time I use the point on the left side of the slope formula, into the y equals ax plus b form and solve for b. We get a b this time of negative 3.64. We arrange the a and the b into the y equals ax plus b form and we have the equation of our regression line. This is the Meyer line method, and it is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.